So if, like me, you like some immersion in your games of franchise hockey manager, then the game itself can throw up some pretty scary faces. So in this video, what we're going to do is show you a couple of hints and tips in order to make your players look a little nicer. Right, so the first thing we need you to do if you want to go and add your own photos is I need you to go in to the setup and options. You need to have a look at the face gen settings. You need to make sure all three of these are ticked. If you haven't got these ticked, it will just display jerseys and nobody wants that. So in this video, we're going to do two things. Number one, we're going to show you how to add in your own player faces. Now you can do that yourself. We'll show you exactly how to do that as well as downloading them from the forums or if you want just to be that little bit different, we'll show you how to add your own photos, like SpongeBob here. If you just want to grab some photos yourself, the first thing you need to do is you need to go on to the OOTP forums. You want to head to this link here, and I'll put this in the comments and descriptions. You want to go to the updated list of released mods, and you just want to scroll down until you find photo packs. Now there's plenty of different ones out there, depending on what you're looking for, but for the purposes of this video, we're just gonna go in and grab the 2324 pack, and we're gonna go and download this file here. So go in, find what you're looking for. You wanna press this little button here to download it, and we're gonna wait for it to download. Once you've downloaded it, you need to go to your custom data path. So if you need to work out where that is, pop into your settings, go into the miscellaneous, and you'll see it there. Once you've found your custom data path, you need to go in to Photos. Here's a couple I made earlier. What you need to do next is you need to go in, find your download, and open it up. You'll see a face pack 2324 or your equivalent, depending on which version you found. Open it up, you grab the player that you want. So for this one, let's find Zegris. So if we just type in Trevor, we scroll down just a little bit, and there is Zegris. So we'll grab that, we'll put it in there. Once you're back in your game, go to the player you're looking for. You just need to auto reload it, and boom, there's the picture. All right, option two, let's go and add our own player. So for the second example, we are going to go and find an image for John Gibson. He's not gonna be SpongeBob anymore. We're gonna go find that, crop that, and add that into the game, and I'm gonna show you how. So first thing you need to do, you need to go find your image of the player that you're looking for. I've already found one, we're gonna use this one. So find it, right click it, save it and download it. So once you've found the image of the player, you are going to need to edit it. And I have got a free photo editor if you need it. Others are available. If you head to Photo P, P E A, and you can use this for free. You go in, create a brand new project, and you'll need the following file sizes. You need width 170, height 154, DPI, leave it at 72. Hit create, and you get this file here. Now, what you then need to do is you need to get your image and you need to get rid of the background. So to do that, you need a website. Once again, a free website. If you go to www.remove.bg, you find this website here. What you need to do is go upload image, find the image that you found, and it will just whip out the background for you. Once done, press the download button, and then go and find where it's downloaded it. All right, so once you've found it, grab that file, drop it in there, just by clicking and dragging it and you can do it. All right, if you hold down Alt and then just click on one of the anchors in the corner, you can then scale it up. What you probably wanna do is make it so about that sort of size. You want a little bit down towards the bottom and then just press your Enter key and that will save that. Head up to File, go to Export As, and Export as a PNG and then name it whatever you want for now. Once you've saved it, go and find that file and you'll meet me back in the photos folder. All right, so once you've got the file in the photos folder, you need to name it. And FHM 10 has a specific way of naming your files. If you really wanna make sure you do it right, bring up the game, go to bio, and you're gonna be looking for the date of birth. The way that it works is you need to go in, you need to name your file. So we're gonna go for John, then you need to put an underscore in, Gibson, underscore again, and then you need to put his date of birth. So 14, underscore seven, underscore 1993 and you save that once you've then done that pop back into the game auto reload the picture and there is the one that you've created now if you do want to add a picture that you've already downloaded maybe you don't want to use that one or maybe he's aged over the years and you want to change the player all you then need to do is go into there click the import photo file 
find any picture that you want, ideally PNG, click it, open it, and there you go. Pop it in any old picture. And that is how you add photos into FHM.